Hey guys, Mike Taylor, aka Battleship Cobra here. Today I'm going to talk about process flow maps. If you've seen the HANA screenshots, you've seen this process flow before. I'm going to show you how you can do this using B1UP. They have an amazing process flow widget. The process flow widget used to be static. Now the widget is fully customizable. You can make your own process maps linking to menus and even universal functions. So this makes it way better than the HANA version and completely customizable, including using your own special icons. My name is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Check me out at battleshipcobra.com. I have an SQL for SAP Business One and a Crystal Reports for SAP Business One course. You could take them there on Udemy. They're self-paced online courses. They'll take you from knowing nothing about those subjects to being able to make your own queries, understanding SQL, and to make your own crystal reports, understanding how crystal, crystal reports integrates into SAP Business One. Like, share, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell. If you don't come to YouTube that frequently, it'll send you an email every time I make a new video, which is convenient because I make them weekly Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so you don't want to miss them. So let's get started. I'll show you what the process flow widget is, where you can add it, and how you can customize it. Let's go. So you've probably seen this before in a HANA demo or in a HANA system, where it has this map of the various items that you have in your organization. So you can see here that this is the goods receipt PO, and you can click these shortcuts in order to either go to these particular places, warehouse, or they have these additional shortcut drop-down menus. So delivery, open items list, document drafts report, back order report, goods issues, goods return, inventory counting functions. This one was just pre-made and you can do this any way you want and map out your process, reinforce it with your own menu items and make it really easy to onboard and train your various users. In this case, I also added a sweet little uh, Battleship Cobra icon. This is the official Battleship Cobra icon. I will put the download link in the description below if you wanna make your own inventory pro, or if you wanna make your own any process you could just throw this custom icon in there to show your support. So this is really straightforward. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of this production overview for now. Maybe I'll just minimize it here. I'll move this over here. Well, since my face is probably gonna be on the other side, I'm gonna click, just gonna X out of this one. <clears throat> so you wanna add one, you go, first you need to enable dashboards. I guess I'll show you how to do that. Modules, administration, add-ons. B1 Usability Package, B1 Usability Package Config. Use B1 Dashboards needs to be checked. Then once it's checked, you need to go to the Ellipses button and you either, either need to include everybody or exclude the people you don't want to have it. Restart your SAP and then you'll have your dashboards. I'm not gonna go too much more into the customization of the dashboards. You can check out the Boyum IT page for more details, but if you're already using it, you already probably love my sales dashboard. There's so much to do with this. This is just the process flow. Click your gear, click add new widget, scroll down. Where is it? Uh, process flow. It's gonna add this one here. You can pick from one of the default ones, sales, purchasing, so sales is here. So you can see these are very similar to the HANA ones. Again, uh, delivery, you can do various things, sales order. This will open up your sales order. Quote, you have various things in there. Sales reports, sales reports, customers, Dunning Wizard, etc. So you can select a different process flow. Uh, I'll just show you these for the sake of, of uh, you just checking them out to see what they have. So B1 up, power user menu, lots of cool stuff in there. Very handy. Financial processes. Lots of stuff. Inventory management. I showed you that one, including my uh, BSC logo. Purchasing. And sales. Okay, but you can also create your own. 
create new. This opens a whole process flow editor. I'm gonna assume my face will be on the left side. Look at how big this map can be. This is insanity, guys. So you could go YouTube example. You could start wherever you wanted. So I'm just gonna start here. You can see you can use menu items or universal functions. I mean, that's insane. You can use a macro right out the gate. You could do a UFFI, UFFE. You could do whatever you wanted in the menu here. So I could go select, let's just do kind of a sales one. So we go sales quote, this would be sales quote. I select a predefined image and I'll just do whatever. I'm not gonna get too picky in here. Look at all the predefined things they have in here. It's really neat. Look at all these icons. Just another reason you need to get B1 usability package. I'll just do, I haven't even looked at all these here. This one. Okay, sales quote, you can rename it, whatever you want. You can add sub targets too. So if you, again, you wanna do a universal function where it will automatically do something for you, like open a sales order and set up something specific or do some special type of uh, sales quote or you know whatever you want. I'm just gonna do a few more of these sales. I'll just do mass delivery. So you can say send quotes, mass delivery. Add, so you can see now this drop down, and you can add, look at all these things. You can add a, a ton of things to these drop downs. You can then go and set up these uh, connectors. So you could say predefined connector goes here, and now you can say, okay, well, quotes will always go to sales orders. You can call it something else. You can give it a icon. You can use a custom icon. You can add specific uh, drop down items. You don't even have to. You can just leave it like that. Say this goes here. This is going to go right. This is going to go here. We're going to pick delivery. And we're just going to call this delivery. We're going to change this to something here we're gonna deliver boom put this there and on and on so you can build this out you know you can say delivery okay here go down this is frankly just fun it's just uh, really neat and then you can just publish this and have again think of a customer let's go return request so we'll call us rma uh, what an RMA look like? Eh, approval? Yeah, sure. I'll go down here. We'll put this here. Go here. Oh, no, no. We're gonna do a return. Okay, and we're gonna pick. Uh, yeah, something like that. And again, with all these sub targets, you can do this, do an automation. You can have RMAs, show a list of RMAs. Um, I'll just go to sales. You can have it automatically open up the uh, open items list and switch to a particular type of document. Uh, frankly, it's amazing. And look at how big you can make this. You can map out your entire company's functions here. I'm going to add a special one. I'm going to go... Universal function, select. I have one here for the dashboard, launch Battleship Cobra. We're just gonna call this Battleship Cobra. And think of how crazy this is. You can add your own icons here. Again, in the description below, I'll give you my official work or process flow editor battleship cobra icon you can just throw that there even if it does nothing it'll make your process flows cooler so we've called this youtube example we've done all this stuff it's just going to have that one thing you can even do custom connectors maybe you want the connectors to be something weird i mean look at these icons here it's not just arrows you could do all these different things attachments it's like just Anything you can think of, automatic emailing, you know, like you, it's just so cool that you'd be able to do this. And also you can even make your own 
you could go so crazy as color coding them to your own branding. You could add your own icons with your own whatever to match your website or whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to add this. Very impressed. I'm very impressed. Uh, again, before they were pretty static. So here's the YouTube one like that. So I'm going to launch battleshipcobra.com. This just launches an external website and goes directly to my website. Sorry, not my website, my uh, YouTube channel. Boom. So you always can pop open and see my uh, see my new videos. I just used a universal function external launcher there to launch this. It's very, very simple to do. So you can see how quickly you can do this. You can open up a sales quote right from here. Sales order and build this. I think it's amazing. I think it's really underrated and I'm really happy that Boyum did that. It really kind of takes just another thing out of the HANA dashboards. It really just completely can replace everything in HANA with the B1UP process. So you're not going to miss out on anything. I think it is spectacular. Let me just fit this one back in here. Boom. And look at how nice that looks. You could just manage your whole day right from there. You don't even need this sidebar anymore. I just hide this sidebar. You can launch anything from modules at the top or you can launch anything that you would need in your in your everyday process through this process flow map. And uh, it's just sweet, so check it out. Thank you guys so much for checking out my videos. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell if you don't come to YouTube that frequently. It'll send you an email every time I make a video. I make weekly videos Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to www.battlestarecobra.com for other stuff about me, including my Crystal Reports and SQL course. Check out my podcast at podcast.battlestarecobra.com. I post those Wednesdays typically, sometimes more than once a week. And I also do the videos on YouTube as well for you to check out, but it's available on any of the major podcast platforms. Podcast.battlestarecobra.com, you can listen to it there. Uh, plus, you can also find the links to your favorite platform. Thanks again so much. I'll see you next week.